Hi, this is a completely blank Windows machine and uh, I'm going to show you how to go from here to building your first Angular Dart app. So first we're going to install Dart. So I'm looking for Dart language and uh, I come up to dartlang.org uh, and uh, we're on Windows and I am taking the path of a wizard, um, a UI installer, just because uh, that's more visual and I don't have Chocolaty installed. But I could, yeah, I could totally use Chocolaty, which is a more command line approach of installing Dart on Windows. While that's happening, uh, let's also install an IDE, WebStorm. WebStorm is uh, an IDE from IntelliJ and that's something that works really well with Dart. Uh, another one is uh, called uh, Visual Studio Code by Microsoft and there's uh, an amazing plugin for that, community driven. Uh, all right, so, but yeah, let's install WebStorm here. And while that's going on, uh, let's actually try and uh, see if we can uh, because Dart is installed right now, see if we can run it on the command line. So uh, Dart version tells us, yeah, this is this is there, 1.22, and let's actually create a hello world Dart app. Print hello world. And let's run it dot hello dot and that's there okay so that works we have uh, our hello world running and let's run web store now um, from now on there's going to be a lot of um, well a lot of first time setup so evaluate yes accept everything now we go and create a new project it's a dart project and for the first time we have to say that um, uh, where dart lives and now we um, use one of the templates that's provided with dart and that's the angular web application template that's angular dart um, this is how it looks like uh, so the entry point is as you would expect in main.dart and uh, IntelliJ tells us, hey, you don't have dependencies yet. So uh, we just click on Git Dependencies and IntelliJ will go and uh, download them for us. Uh, that's happening in the lower part. And these are the dependencies that, uh, um, that uh, we have defined. Uh, that's the file called pubspec.yaml that's, uh, that's there for every Dart project imaginable. So now we have the dependencies uh, there, um, uh, so we can navigate the code. Uh, everything will just work. We, we can look at a uh, documentation. Uh, we have everything we need to actually start the app. So let's do it right now. Uh, we'll start it in debug mode. Uh, this is the window where it's going to be. Uh, again, you see a lot of um, a lot of warnings. And IntelliJ will soon, right now, uh, it tells us that it needs a plugin to, um, you know, to debug that window, uh, which we will install. And now that, and again, this is one time setup. Um, now that we have that, uh, the app is actually loaded. And it, as you can see, it's very simple, but it has uh, an input, uh, it has uh, a button and a dialogue and, uh, and some very 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 simple behavior so that's that um, hopefully you could see that uh, you know we got to running an angular dart app pretty fast um, all right now so that you can see that this is real uh, we can actually go ahead and uh, run this app in Internet Explorer. Uh, so, uh, you know, this obviously Internet Explorer doesn't have support for Dart. Um, 
uh, or anything like that and we don't expect people to uh, have browsers with support with Dart. Um, so what's happening now it's um, on the background the whole app is uh, is compiling to efficient uh, ES5 JavaScript um, so and here it is and as you can see everything works just as expected all right so um, that was it uh, hopefully um, uh, next video I'll I can show you uh, how to go from here.